Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're here on our Mac, and we're going to be talking about Siri on the Mac. Yeah, which I, a lot of people use Siri on their mobile device, but you can now use it on the Mac. Right. And it's really got some handy features. Right. Like, um, first of all, you can do everything that you're used to doing with Siri on your mobile device, but you can also do some specific things on your computer that are really handy that you might not have thought of. Great. Well, let's take a look. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the preferences for Siri. Okay. Okay. And so I'm going to go down to the dock and pull up System Preferences, which you can also find under the Apple menu. Right. All right, and there's a pane down, uh, in the fourth pane down, you'll see the Siri preferences. Okay. Click on that, and it's going to come up. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is Siri, and then enable Siri. Now, okay. if yours is off, that's fine, yep. um, but you just turn it on. It was when you upgraded to Sierra, I'd asked you, do you want to include Siri, and maybe you might have said no. You might have said no, right. but if you want to turn it on, turn it on. You if can turn it on now. Yeah, and when you turn it on, or if you're installing Sierra <clears throat> for the first time and it asks you and you say yes, it will put the Siri app icon down in the dock on the mm -hmm. left side, Very nice. and it will also put it up in the menu bar at the right. Great. Okay? And um, there you go. So the first thing you do is you can you can customize the language, yes. which you want to make sure you put your own language so Siri will understand you. Oh yeah, we hope we can hope. We <laughs> wink, right? <laughs> we can only hope that she gets it right. So make sure you have the right language. Um, and then the Siri voice. Sure, you can have fun with different accents. Right. Um, and this is kind of a handy feature on the computer, and it's voice feedback. So okay. if you have that off, she will not talk back to you. Oh. She will just type things, and um, maybe there might be some beeping, you know, no yeah. notifying you. Right. But that I can see that being really handy if you're working in a work environment, yeah. then your cute mates aren't hearing your Siri requests. Exactly, right? which kind of segues into the next thing, which is mic input, okay. because... If you have a separate microphone plugged into uh, your computer, you could be talking quietly into your microphone. <laughs> right. <laughs> for your Siri Secret command. conversation. Yeah, well, a lot of people wear those headsets no, when right. they're working, yeah. too, yep. for voice calls. So that's cool. Um, yep. The next thing is a keyboard shortcut. Okay, and so that's to bring her up? That's to bring her up to call on Siri. Um, you could use a keyboard shortcut. Mm -hmm. And they have three presets, or you can go into customize and put in any key command that you want. Right, which I actually had to do. Um, all the three presets that they have are shortcuts I use in a program I use all the time. And I kept evoking Siri instead of doing my shortcut in my program. So I created my own. So that's Perfect. good to know. Yep. Um, and then the last thing you can do is show Siri in the menu bar or not. You can turn this one off if you want to. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and close <clears throat> this. And to call on Siri... Again, you can use that keyboard shortcut, right. or you just go and you, you click on one of the icons of her. Perfect. And up she comes. Now she's going to get confused because I'm just talking. But you yep. can see I can go ahead and click on I'm the sorry. sound wave to stop her. Yep. Um, and you can see she's brought up, this is called like the Siri pane or a okay. panel because this comes up in the upper right-hand corner. Of course, you can... Oh, no, you can't move it. I'm nope. so sorry. It's, she's stuck there. She's, she's stuck. staying there. <laughs> she's staying right there. <laughs> Uh, there is an X that you can close her, uh -huh. um, or you can hit on the microphone, microphone to to bring her up again. Right? Why don't we show them a feature? Yeah. So now we're gonna we're gonna look at kind of something fun you can do on the computer. Did the twins win their last game? The twins edged past the Yankees by a score of four to two yesterday. Woohoo! Yay! So here you can see um, brings up the score, and you've got all the information. Now, if this is something you like to look at a lot, uh -huh. you can go ahead and add it to your notifications pane. Oh, cool. So you click on this plus sign. If you see a plus sign in the upper right of your Siri request or her answer, you can add it to the notifications pane. Oh, right. And you can see we already have it. Yeah, we've been here. practicing our video. <laughs> <laughs> so to close that. We really like the twins. <laughs> yeah. I can go ahead and hit this X and it'll take it out of notifications. Right. Okay. And then the next thing that I wanted to show um, was another kind of fun thing you can do with her. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that icon. Get rid there. of that. And I'll click on this icon. Bring her up. Show me the top stories, news stories today. Here's some news for show me the top stories, news stories today. All right. I got uh, it. See, now this is, <laughs> this is not the best advertisement for Siri, right? <laughs> okay, hold on. We all know this. Show me the top news today. 
Here's some news for that. Show me the top news today. Okay. So here are uh, the headline news. News. News, yep. And um, what you can do here, too, is you can also click the plus sign, and it'll add that to your pane. So you could quickly, in your notifications, see yeah. the top news stories of the day. I think that's really a handy feature, and um, it, you don't have to add it to your notifications. It's just a nice feature. It right? is a nice feature, something that you can't do on iOS. On mobile, yeah. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. You can also, another thing that's great, um, specific to the computer, is you can search for files. Oh, yeah. yeah, which is really nice. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Find all files with the name Liam. I found 45 files matching Liam. Right. So Liam is Mike, of course, adorable son. And yeah. um, so I'm looking for, you know, his uh, document or whatever. So I, it's nice. You can search right. by name. Right. And you can search, you know, anything that you can do in Spotlight Search, you can have Siri. Yeah. Do. And it's just an so, easier, quicker way to do it. It's just kind of fun. Yeah, Keep it, it in is. a Siri pane. And um, another thing is you can do uh, directions. Siri, how long will it take me to get to the Mall of America? Which Mall of America? Click the one you want. The traffic to Mall of America is moderate, so it should take about 29 minutes via I-494 East. Kind of cracks me up because how many Mall of Americas are there? Yeah, really. Well, I know. She wants but, to know. Uh, exactly. But it's handy. You know, um, you could, you know, we could go further on and get specific directions and right. everything. But this right. is just letting you know as you're working away, oh, okay, maybe i got to leave now or yeah. whatever. You know, yeah. it's kind it's of a nice, nice feature. It is nice. It's a great feature. Another um, nice feature to use Siri on the Mac is to find out um, technical information on your computer, which is... It's hard to find. Where is that? I don't know. How big is that? So let me show you some of that. Siri, how much RAM do I have? Your Mac has 32 gigabytes, 2,400 megahertz DDR4 memory. See, that's nice. That's very nice. And I could find out the processor or, you know, the, the version. system of, of right. my version of my right. system, you know, so if you're on tech support or anything like that, sometimes those things are kind of tricky to find. So that's kind of a handy little tip. And you can also, you know, find things off the internet with Siri. Mm -hmm. Siri, find me a good recipe for barbecuing ribs on the grill. Okay, I found this on the web for a good recipe for barbecuing ribs on the grill. Yeah, yeah. so it's just a, um, it's a more fun way to search kind of, right? right it's right. like your little personal assistant. Right. And you can do it on the Mac as well as mobile. Right. And you can also ask um, about emails. Yep. So you could go ahead. And, oh, right. Yeah. Yo, oh, that, that is a great feature. Right. Siri, find me all the emails from Barbara Zade. You have 25 email messages from Barbara Zade since December 17th. 2012. Wow. <laughs> I like how she says your name. <laughs> um, you can see, um, I could have said, you know, do I have any new emails from Barbara Zade? You can see by this one with the little dot, I haven't read that yet. Right. So if you were waiting for an email yeah. from somebody, you could say, do I have any right. emails from Karen yet? You know. But I can also find all <clears throat> my emails from you. Right. And you can <clears throat> even have her read them to you. Right. Just various right. things. So it's quite handy. Right. So Siri on the Mac is a lot of fun. Um, it comes up in the small pane on the right. You can yep. save things to the notification panel and just have fun using Siri. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.